In this video, we'll look at a geometric distribution word problem. So the question reads as follows. A factory making printed circuit boards has a defect rate of 2.4% on one of its production line. An inspector tests randomly selected circuit boards from this production line. What is the probability, this is part A, what is the probability that the first effective circuit board will be the sixth one tested? Okay, for starters, before we even start to solve, here's the tricky part of this question. It's, we're looking for, what is the probability that the first effective circuit board, so ironically, or sort of inverse how we normally think about these questions, in this case, the success will be a defective board. So let's start by talking about that. So the probability of, and we'll lose little p, that's your success, is actually a defective board. And so we want that defective board to be our p. That's our success is a defective board because we're looking for the defective board. And so what's that probability that I just read? 0. Point, well, it's 2.4 percent. Divide that by 100, you get 0. 0.024. So in this case, a failure is we haven't got a detect. Uh, we haven't got a defective board. We've got an OK board, so not defective. And so a failure is it's not defective, which is just 1 minus this. You can probably do that in your head, but if you want to be careful. And you get 0 0.976. So that's our Q and P for these questions. OK, now we're ready to start solving. So what's the probability, what's the question say again? that the first defective circuit board is on the sixth one tested. So probability the first defective on number six. Well, that's just equal to the probability of five are not defective and the sixth is. You don't have to write that, but it helps me think and I can see sort of what the exponents are going to be, I'm going to have the not defective rate occur five times. So that's 0 0.976. This is a geometric distribution. So our failure, in this case a failure is it's not defective, happens five times. And then you have your success, which is your failure rate or defective rate. And we're just going to calculate that. I'll put a rounding dot because I know I'm going to need to round. 0.976 to the power of five times 0.024 and you get, let's round to five decimals here, 0 0.02125. So therefore the probability of happening exactly on the sixth time is, move the decimal over two to make it a percentage, 2.125 percent. Question B is trickier. It just has more work. It says, what's the probability that the first defective circuit board will be among the first six tested? What is the probability that the first defective among the first six? Well, here's the tricky part. That's the probability that the first defective one is the first, def is the first thing. So I'm going to say the probability that the first is defective plus the probability that the second thing is defective plus the probability that the third one is defective. And so I'm assuming that like the understanding is here. If the third one's defective, the other two were okay. It's that like the first defective is the first one. The first defective is the second one. So the first defective is the third one. The first defective is the fourth one. The first defective is the fifth one. And the first time we get a defective is the sixth time. A lot of things to add together. It's easy work, but we've got to do a lot of things. So let's look at each one. What's the probability that the first thing's defective? That's the probability of having no non-defectives, power of zero, and just, you don't even need that, I'm just to, for the symmetry you have no not defectives, your first one's defective. Plus, here's the second one, so your second thing is the defective one. That means your first one comes out okay, but then your second thing, you don't need the exponent one on the second thing here, I just like putting it, you don't have to. 
This is the second thing is the defective thing. Now your third thing is the defective thing, which means the first two roll out okay, and they get power of two, there's their probability, but then that third one fails. Plus, the fourth one's a defective one. So you have three successes, then your defective thing. Then the fifth thing's defective. That means you had four successes, then your failure. And finally, you had five successes, and then the sixth one's the defective one. So you have to add all those together. We're going to have some number crunching to do. The first one's easy, power of zero. Anything to the power of zero is just one, so one times this is just 0 0.024. Easy. But the other ones we're going to have to calculate. Anything to the power of one is just itself. So we just times those together, and we get 0 0.23424. Oh, and I left a zero out here. I got to round that a little differently. So that's 0 0.0. 2, 3, 4, 2. Rounding to 5 decimals. So don't need this 4 here. I'm rounding to 5 decimals. Since I'm rounding, I better put a rounding dot. Okay, next one. 0 0.976 to the power of 2, or squared, times 0 0.024. I don't use the power of 1 because it just keeps it the same. And I get 0 0.0222. Six plus. I'm keeping the same symmetry here. I have space here, but just so it looks the same as that one. 0.976 to the power of 3 times 0.024. And you get 0.02231. Let's make this a little closer together. Plus. Two more. 0.976 to the power of 4 times 0.024. And you get 0 0.0217, and we have to round up, so 178. Last one, and we're there. 0.976 to the power of 5 times 0 0.024, and you get 0 0.02125. Didn't even need to do it, I already had it calculated here, but did it anyway. So all that's left is to add all those probabilities together. So. 0.024 plus 0.02342 plus 0.02286 plus 0.02231 plus 0.02178 plus 0.02125 and you get a final answer 0 0.13562 therefore in this case, the probability that it's among the first six defective, probability is the decimal over two, 13.562%. Not so bad. Long, but not hard. And then part C says, what is the expected waiting time until the first defective circuit board? Well, expected value for a geometric distribution is just Q divided by P. And we just take our Q value, which is 0 0.976, and divide by our P value. So what's the expected waiting time till we see a defective one? Decimal divided by that decimal, and you get 40.6 repeating forever. I don't have to round because I put this symbol on top of the 6. And therefore, we expect approximately... 41 boards until we see a defective one. And so these three parts were an example of a geometric distribution word problem.